Hey, what's going on everybody? It's DC Gamer Goon here. I'm bringing you a double overtime thriller here. It's a amazing ending. I thought I was going to end up losing, but miraculously, I ended up winning this game. So, I don't have the first half gameplay because it was pretty much back and forth, so there's no point to really commentate on that because it was kind of boring. But it started stepping up in the second half as John Wall hits a three right there, but he doesn't do that in real life. Tony Parker is just amazing this game. He went off with him. And a rare sighting from Matt Bonner. Right here, I pump fake him, or I didn't even pump fake him, he just jumps over me and I hit the three with Andre Miller. Right here, he'll dish it out to, no, he'll just take it himself, jump shot. Another jump shot with Tony Parker. And John Wall just decides to go coast to coast and slam it with the left hand. And Tony Parker with a long two. John Wall with a fast break gives it to Reza for an easy layup. <coughs> and Kawhi Leonard almost post rises Gortat. Right here, good ball movement. I picked that pass off the wall and easy jump shot. And tried to do it again. And right here, he just slams it in with Leonard. And another crazy jump shot by Parker. As you see here, he has 23. Tony Parker with another jumper. John Wall goes down the lane with the easy layup. Contested. And I almost got a steal right there, which I should have. And he almost hits a three with Parker. Right here, Wall goes for the foul, and he misses one of them, I think. No, he makes both of them to make it an 84-83 game. <clears throat> now he's trying to slow up the tempo, try to use as much clock as he can. And he takes a bad shot with Danny Green. I'm driving up. I see Ariza, but he pulls up for the two and misses anyway. And Beal should have had that rebound. And Gortat gets a good block right there. As you see, he's trying to just run it down, get his... Last shot for the shot clock. And thankfully, Kawhi misses it. And Wall goes down on the break. And he... I thought it was a foul, but it just went out of bounds. So Bradley Beal is left wide open for easy two. So I take a lead with one point. And right here, Tony Parker misses a wide open three. Gortat with another big block. And he calls a timeout, I guess, to regroup his team. Now he passes in right away, he shoots up with Tony Parker wide open. He was just on fire this game with Tony Parker. I mean, there was nothing I could do, he was shooting right in my face. You see, I kick it out to Reza, and he misses the open three. But I give it to Beal, and he 
misses an open three. And he gets the ball. So at this point, it looks like the game's pretty much his if he just holds the ball. But I foul him. And after this, I should be sending him to the free throw line. And he makes both of the free throws to make it a three-point game. So at this point, I'm sweating. I'm like, I'm not thinking I'm going to tie it or nothing. And Bradley Beal in the corner kicks it out. Wide open three for Riza. And at this point, I know I can't let him score. Because he's going to have an advantage. And right here, three people around him, he makes a jumper with Tony Parker. And he starts doing this crap. I'm like, oh, so he thinks the game's his. So it pretty much is his. It's six tenths of a second left in the game. And I think there's no way of me making a shot. It's like pretty much impossible. But I see he's playing loose defense on Beal, and he gets the shot in with not even six, not even a second left in the game. Beal hits the shot. And, but they're looking it over. It might not be good. But it is good. It's going to overtime. A buzzer beater with no time left on the clock by Bradley Beal. He is extremely good on this game. So I win the opening tip off for first overtime. And I shoot a wide open three and miss it with Ariza. And he just drives and dunks on Trevor Booker and I tried to sh I have no clue what that was I tried to give it the wall and it just skipped past him and went out of bounds so I know he's going to try to just pull up Tony Parker so I have the double teams going in right in his face so he's not getting that easy stuff anymore and Trevor Reza he Makes an open three because he just pumped, like jumped and went by me. So, of course, he's going to look to Tony Parker and a wide open Kawhi Leonard. That's like his main two targets this game. He has no like post moves or nothing. He just goes for Tony or Kawhi. So, it, this is a Really good game. We're pretty much even throughout the whole game. As you see, he doesn't want to go down in the paint. I don't know why. But he tries right here, and he gets fouled. That's like one of the first times he's went to the, you know, the paint and got fouled. And John Wall just slams it in with the left hand again. And Kawhi misses a wide open three. I thought he was going to make that. So right here, I try to give it to Gortat and pass it to Beal on the wing, but it just passes to Teresa, who's like covered, so I couldn't pass it to him. So he ends up dunking with Kawhi, so I need to fast break to John Wall, and I get fouled. And I missed, the, I think I missed both the free throws, and I couldn't believe this. Both of the free throws. As you know, John Wall is not a good free throw shooter, so that might have everything to do with it. And he gets a contested layup with Tony Parker, who's lighting it up. 33 points, 14 to 20. Almost a double-double. And he kicks it out of bounds and gives me the ball back, and I hit the wide-open jumper with Beal. Again, he's trying to just drive and kick it out with Tony Parker. And he hasn't used Diaw as much or anybody else on his team but Kawhi and uh, Parker. As you see, he misses a layup with Duncan. And I get a contested layup with John Wall. I don't think that should have went in, but it did. 
and again, he just uh, throws a bullet pass to Kawhi Leonard underneath and gets a dunk again. And right here, I need to score quick, and I hit the three with Beal. And I thought that was going to be the game, but you never know. And, of course, Kawhi Leonard hits the open three. I don't know why he was wide open. <clears throat> so, I should have just took my time with the possession. As you see, it was excellent and A quality on the right top corner. But he still missed it. But I should have just took my time and shot the last shot. Right here, I just start up with Trevor Booker. Which, it wasn't going to be good if it went in. <clears throat> so, here goes double overtime. And right off the start, I see Ariza is wide open, and I hit the three with him. And he's trying to run a fast break with Parker, you know, get his points. And he kicks it to Kawhi, and he hits a three. So it's just back and forth, threes, threes so far. And again, I see him in the corner, and I just give it to him, a three. And right there, I should have had the steal, but it just went past my head. And right there should be another steal. I have no clue who he's passing it to. And he gets a foul and he makes both the free throws. And I'm trying to run it with John Wall. Try to get in the lane. But he's playing pretty good D right now. But somehow I didn't get a traveling call right there because that was a travel big time. Now I'm trying to play some close defense on Tony Parker because, you know, he's just making every shot except for that one because, you know, they were right in his face and he did a fadeaway for some reason. <clears throat> so, again, I'm trying to drive a wall and Bradley Beal hits the deep three. It was at the S in the Spurs at midcourt. I could not believe he hit that. And, of course, oh, Never mind, he missed it. Wide open three with Kawhi Leonard. And right here, I have no clue why I tried to do that. <clears throat> it was just a stupid thing. I could have just took my time because I have a I had a five point lead. But I still have a three point lead, so you know, I need to keep it going and John Wall just drives right down the middle. The you know, one of the fastest players in the game. And again he's trying to just drive and kick it out and score. But he keeps missing wide open threes. But he gets a little rebound and layup right there. So I'm just going to try to take my time right here. Try to run down some clock. You know, get some easy points. Trying to cross uh, Tony Parker up right there. I, I didn't mean to do a fadeaway like that. I just tried to just dribble and it just did that. And Tony Parker, again, just he's just doing amazing so John Wall, I kick it out, and I hit the three with Beal. Beal is having a fantastic game, too. 31 points, 12 for 19. Right here, he tries to pass in the lane, but I had Gortat. I was playing as him, and I had that. And Beal, he just drains another three. He's just unstoppable with threes because that's his thing. And right here, this game is pretty much over. He tries to just shoot threes, and he made that one somehow, right in his face. So I kick it to Beal because he's the best free throw shooter, and he fouls. Right here, I tried to get too fancy. I could just pass the ball, you know, but I tried to just do whatever I was trying to do, and I get the ball taken away from me. Right here, and he drives down the lane, and and it's blocked by either Wall or Beal. I don't know which one. So he's still trying to just, you know, throw up threes, try to get it within a point. He should have just tried to shoot a two. I don't know why he kept throwing up threes. I think that was a bad game plan for him, but he gets the ball back because I was being stupid with the ball. And another three. Right here he just throws it up because the game's over. Alright guys, so that's it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed and liked, please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you.